All right. Hi. Hello. How are you? Well, I will be presenting the talk and we can start right away. Okay. So, hello everyone. This is Fosfo G 2021. Today is Saturday in the Humahuaca room. And next we will be having Lorenzo Natalie with his talk Map Store a year in review. So thank you, Lorenzo. Uh, all yours. Okay, thank you. Uh, good afternoon, I'm Lorenzo Natali, and thank you for having me. And uh, I work for Just Solutions, that is a company that provides support for development in various uh, open source products uh, in GIS. We support development of various uh, open source from the core, and we actively participate on, uh, on OGC or uh, creating new standards for the future. Uh, this talk is about Map Store. I will explain what it is uh, for those who don't know. And uh, um, then I will talk about um, what we did in the last years and uh, what we are going to do in the next future. Uh, so uh, first of all, let's start from the beginning. What is Map Store? Um, Map Store, it's a product, it's an application that you can, uh, a web GIS application that you can download uh, customize and install on your servers uh, and run from your uh, to create your application or you, or you can also run uh, them in your personal computer there is a binary package for that anyway map store is mainly a framework uh, that allows to develop a web gis application uh, you can build your own application by creating a new map store project using some uh, all or known of the base map store components uh, that are called plugins. Uh, depending on the level of customization, your final application may look very similar to the uh, standard product or completely different. You can even decide uh, which part to keep uh, if you want to keep the backend or the front end uh, library uh, for mapping functionalities only and uh, put it inside your application, for instance, uh, <clears throat> uh, if you have a completely different backend infrastructure. Um, and what are the functionalities of Map Store? Uh, Map Store. Uh, product itself, it's a sort of a content management system uh, for GIS data uh, with a lot of advanced tool for mappings. Uh, it allows to share many different kinds of contents um, with the, the GIS, GIS flavor uh, with the other users. You can create various contents like maps, uh, dashboards, and now just stories and application contents. This content can be published uh, to be public or to, to be uh, reserved to the, uh, for the access to a particular uh, group of users. As an administrator, you can manage the users of the application, uh, create a group of users and uh, assign them uh, the access to some of them of these contents. Uh, you can also um, allow to or deny users to create their own contents to share. Um, the user system can be also synchronized with your server to having a single application that publish um, data uh, for uh, both on the uh, back end and, and the front end with the same access management system and the same users and roles recognized uh, by the application. Uh, the map viewer that is responsible of the map contents uh, to display the map contents uh, has a lot of tools that you can use to customize the user experience. I saw uh, a lot of plugins. Uh, you can travel in time uh, when you have uh, data with uh, data with the timeline with temporal dimension. You can add to the map some uh, charts, uh, tables, uh, text uh, floating on the map with the widgets. Uh, then you can customize the geocoding service uh, to add your own. You can uh, add annotations to your map uh, and uh, then um, uh, with polygon markers and so on. So a big set of tools. And the map, the map uh, viewer is accessible also for mobile with a dedicated layout and a dedicated set of the tools for, uh, for that particular screen sizes. Um, uh, what um, 
<laughs> Mapster uh, works uh, with uh, multiple mapping engines. Actually, it uses open layers, leaflet at Chisium at, uh, um, on its, uh, and it's ready for new implementation for um, upcoming libraries. Uh, uh, other than maps, uh, you can also share dashboards that are sets of maps, uh, tables, uh, uh, and other contents that can you can combine uh, and make interactive, uh, in, make interactive each other. For instance, you can zoom in and out the map and see the the chart changing, uh, changing uh, on uh, and the, the charts is changing, uh, filtering the data by viewport or other um, other things, other good things. So, and you can build them um, by editing simply uh, them on the UI. Uh, in the latest release, uh, we introduced also GeoStories that are good looking pages uh, that you can scroll down and uh, and, and display, uh, tell, um, tell a story uh, with interactive contents, uh, videos and other media or text uh, and we, with good animations and and look and feel. And uh, we introduced also application contents uh, in the latest release that uh, allow you to create uh, custom map viewers with a custom set of tools. Uh, so you can uh, customize the plugin to show in a particular map to having different viewers with a uh, minimal set of tools or a, tools of, a set of complex tools. Anyway, we will talk about uh, them uh, later in the news section. Uh, and we will talk about them better the, uh, in, in the next session. Um, for from the last presentation at Phosphor-G, uh, at Phosphor-G, we um, two years has passed. Uh, Mapstore has grown a lot uh, with uh, four major like, releases, releases uh, counting a lot of new features. Uh, all these features that you can see here are available in the current release. Uh, GeoStory, Application Contest, Visual Story Editor, all these are, are already available in the, the uh, downloadable version of Map Store. <laughs> uh, let's go in order. Uh, in the last release of uh, 2019, uh, you will be able to filter layers and save filter inside the layers. Uh, with a, and uh, uh, from the moment you save the filter inside the layer, uh, uh, every tool is linked to this layer and the map too. Uh, will use this uh, this layer as it is filtered uh, originally. So it's so it's a sort of virtual layer that uh, uh, filters the data for uh, for the map and all the widget linked to that. Uh, you, from the layer, you can also turn it turn this layer the this filter on and off. Uh, regarding a timeline tool that uh, is a plugin that allows to manage uh, the layers uh, with time dimension, we added a new button uh, in timeline that allows you to uh, show uh, only the points uh, in time actually visible in the current viewport. For instance, here is the without the filter applied. You can see a statistics of many points that uh, that are. Uh, related to the wall layer that is a word uh, sides layer and in this picture can you see, you can see only uh, activating the tool you can see only the the time uh, the temporal values that are uh, associated to the points in, uh, in the current viewport so you can ignore uh, the rest of the map it's particularly useful when you have a layer with a lot of data and you are um, uh, uh, interested only on a particular zone uh, then, in the first release of 2020, we introduced the possibility to uh, add backgrounds for any, from any kind of source. So uh, now you can add the background of the map uh, from this button plus here and uh, uh, browse the, ca the catalog uh, we already have for the layers, also to add the background, layers as background. So you can add the uh, uh, them from WMS, WMTS, TMS, WFS. Uh, each service that's, that is supported uh, by Map Store is uh, supported also for backgrounds, and you can customize the thumbnail, the title to show, and other options depending on the type. 
and the release and first release of the 2020 we concentrated also to update react js that is uh, uh more um developer uh, uh, more a thing for developers but anyway uh, it improved uh, the functionalities and the uh, stability and performance in general in the second part of 2020 we also added the just stories that uh, the, con the new type of content that i anticipated before um, as i said uh, just story is a new type of content that uh, you can use to share uh, to create immersive uh, scrollable page with some text, uh, uh, media, multimedia like videos or images, uh, interactive maps, and so on. Uh, you can uh, uh, with the story editor, you can select a color theme uh, to use in your page. Uh, you can uh, decide uh, what, uh, you can customize every part of the, uh, of the page, uh, like the sides and the backgrounds uh, and uh, of each area and each text uh, or each map, uh, use the map maps uh, as background or as main content. You can do many, um, you have many possibility of in terms of customization of these pages. Uh, then another important feature in the release of 2020 and the second uh, part of 2020 is uh, uh, the introduction, introduction of the application contexts. Uh, the application context uh, are, allows the administrator to create alternative map viewers uh, <clears throat> from a new context manager available in the administrator menu. Uh, they can be composed uh, to select in the initial map uh, with the backgrounds, initial layers and position. Then you can select the plugins you want to get in and you can configure each of them uh, and then you can um, you can save them uh, and uh, in this example for instance we created a minimal viewer uh, with only the annotation tool and the optional background selector that can be triggered uh, by the user if you want to uh, to see it but by default this uh, this map uh, all only uh, allow the user to browse the image, uh, the, the, the map and uh, do annotation on that. Uh, the context uh, you create uh, as an administrator can be shared uh, with, uh, with the URL to the final users. So you can uh, create an application only sharing this URL with your uh, users, or you can also use them as a base to create new maps. Uh, my maps created with this context uh, will uh, bring uh, the context uh, in. So, as well as you share, uh, as um, so you can create maps in the context and then share them as usual. And the user will uh, see the map not uh, uh, with uh, not with the default viewer, but with the custom viewer with the tools that you decided to to include in that particular map. So basically, this uh, application context system allows to create multiple applications uh, with a subset of plugins uh, that can be easy can, that can be shared with the users of your or of the portal. Uh, notice that uh, you can add also uh, custom plugins uh, to to in your projects. Uh, developed, uh, developed for your own use case. So uh, this uh, opens the door to a lot of uh, uh, possibilities in terms of creating portals. So for instance, you can create a context for admin for uh, an, a set of user with a minimal set of tools, um, another context reserved to uh, some more technical users that has uh, the tools and the permission, for instance, of editing uh, features. And uh, another last context for the office team uh, with some custom tools designed for their work. For instance, if they have to enter some particular forms and so on, they can do it uh, using that particular context. And that, that works uh, uh, like a, a separated application. Uh, the possibilities are a lot and uh, can be adapted to uh, a, set, a big set of uh, use cases. Um, in the in the in the, um, uh, the most recent release uh, this year, uh, it was a 
um, full of features. So also this release was full of features. We introduced the Visual Style Editor. I'm sorry, I already had the Style Editor, a textual style editor that allowed to edit CSS and SLD. From this version, you have a visual tools to edit uh, uh, styles for maps, for uh, polygons, uh, and in general for vector layers. Uh, you can add the textile, you can determine uh, the scale denominator uh, for, for each rule uh, to create a set of rules uh, and so a set of styles that scales with the, with the scale of the map. And uh, moreover, you can configure to use patterns, icons, or uh, create classification and color ramps uh, inspecting the real data and automatically generated the intervals for the colors and the uh, color ramp itself. Uh, we also changed the charting library for widgets. Uh, with the introduction of Plotly.js, Plotly we uh, improved a lot uh, the charts. First of all, they are more interactive. Then uh, um, with this change, uh, we were able to introduce time series. So if you have a temporal data, you can use time series. Uh, you can create charts uh, of time series if you have some vector layer, for instance, with a date time uh, attribute. Um, and uh, moreover, uh, with this update, we uh, did a lot of advanced options to uh, change uh, the number format, uh, formatting, uh, using a formula to pre-process the results or uh, customizing the general appearance of the chart. And the annotation tool in this release has been completely redesigned. Now it's very intuitive and, and uh, powerful. Uh, you can uh, um, uh, you can edit annotations in seconds, having a lot of tools at the same view. So it's very compact and complete. Uh, another tool introducing the, is the compare tool that allows to swipe the map uh, to hide the one layer. I don't show one layer and compare with the background. You can do it uh, with the swipe, so a vertical or, or, or an horizontal line that uh, displays uh, the layer only on one side. And uh, or using the spyglass, so you have a circular area where the layer is visible and the rest of the part is not visible, so you can inspect data also in this way. Uh, we also are in in this uh, release. Uh, we added also the extension uh, system that allows to uh, <coughs> install uh, <coughs> the extensions. Are um, the ex um, this? Uh, so let me rephrase. Uh, we introduced in the release this release also the extension system. Extensions are plugins that can be installed on the fly in a running instance of Map Store. You, it means that you don't have to create a custom project, but use uh, the standard one or use a, um, a project and install also extension is also possible. <laughs> um, in the wizard dedicated to the creation of application context, you can find a user interface to drag and drop this extension developed by you or by someone that uh, can develop things for you and uh, so they can be installed in the environment and use it in uh, some application contexts. Uh, so if you are using Map Store or a derived product uh, that includes extension, you can customize your installation and add plugins without needing to create a custom project all, um, and maintaining only uh, your extension without, uh, uh, without too much effort for you. Uh, what's going on uh, with the future of Mop, the releases of Map Store? Uh, in the next release uh, that is near to exit, should be uh, out uh, in October, uh, we want to add the possibility to customize the theme of the uh, application context. So these uh, custom applications, uh, these uh, custom map viewer will have also the possibility to customize the theme. And the so you can uh, edit the color of the uh, of the buttons uh, or the inputs of the menus, and uh, we reviewed also the theme system with these uh, changes. And um, in, so, uh, with, the, with if you develop a custom project, it's easier to change the theme uh, with a few lines of CSS uh, using CSS variables that are now compatible with most of the mod, um, with uh, all the most popular browsers. Uh, we will add uh, to 
<coughs> we are, we are going to add to GeoStories also another kind of section other than uh, uh, <coughs> the others that is uh, called Carousel. And it's a sort of gallery uh, that shows you some particular points on the map and the associated media and text content. And you can uh, click on uh, the, the various gallery entries to zoom to that particular place and see the information related to them. Uh, and uh, in this release uh, that is coming in October, we will have also the visual style editor for raster layers so you will you will be able to uh, uh, edit the styles uh, raster styles for uh, using creating classifications uh, or uh, doing context uh, uh, doing some operation of the images like contrast enhancement and so on using the visual tool as you can uh, do it uh, as you can do with the vector layers uh we did also a lot of uh, various optimization in libraries uh, uh reducing the bundle size and the initial page load and also the requirement for the uh, uh for the memory to build uh, <laughs> there are many uh, other improvements that we don't have time to discuss anyway for the future projects uh, for the future release in the next year, we plan to create a new project system that allow you to have a single entry point to create a project and uh, uh, extensions with the same uh, command line tool with a reduced boilerplate rate that allow you to uh, maintain better the uh, project. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we want to support uh, 3D tiles and improve the performances. Uh, the time is over, I think. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. okay. We will have to be ending now. Yes. Anyway, ju just a second. Uh, Map Story is used by Joe Store and by Joe Orchestra, that are two famous uh, open source pro um, open source uh, products, uh, and by many uh, private companies and uh, uh, municipalities uh, all around the world. And uh, this is only a small list of the, of the users that we helped to install Map Store. And uh, for Map Store, there is uh, the online demo at mapstore.com and the user documentation at mapstore.readedocs.io. I was uh, not fast <laughs> to, to finalize my presentation. No problem. OK, thank you. Um, can you paste me both resources if you have? Or let me paste them on the chat, maybe. Mm -hmm. At least the demo. Uh, sorry? Yes, yes, I can paste them. Don't worry, I am not. OK, thank you. I hope that I didn't mistype. Well, and I think that we don't have time for questions either. So I'm sorry. Thank you very much, Lorenzo, for your talk. OK. Thank you. Um, we will be seeing you around in Phosphor G, right? Yes, I think uh, you will. Um... Uh, I will uh, go go to the, uh, the social gathering. <laughs> to the dinner this. party tonight. <laughs> okay, we we'll yeah. see you again. Okay, okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Now we will be testing the last string of the day with Andrea.